What's up guys, it's Maxwell back with CWL Premier Week 6 action, this time Zaubarz is against Invictus Prime. And as you can see, we came away with a very close loss, pretty unlucky, um, failed a dip very late that cost us the war. Um, as you can see, we are going to have some 11 versus 11 action to watch towards the end of this video. But for now, let's start off with some Town Hall 9. Um, breakdown for this war was 4, 10, 16 in a 30 versus 30. And we're going to have Steff the Pro coming in here. Um, who actually got a 9v9 six pack this war using uh, Pekka both times. So um, this this rate the Pekka actually got some pretty good value. So for that reason, I wanted to highlight this rate. Um, needs another hawk there to get the Archer Tower out of the way, but then he's gonna get it. Um, so yeah, he used the Pekka in both of his uh, three stars. Definitely pretty funny there. Um, uh, extra points, of course, for creativity. Um, Breaks open the wall here, tricks the mortar nicely so it cannot kill the wall breakers. Wizzy helping to set the second half of the funnel. Clank has Liss already out, so the poison spell is going down. Um, decides to use Queen ability there right away as well. We've got two baby dragons and a bunch of archers inside that clan castle. Um, so yeah, jump spells down. The Pekka is of course already in there as well. And now the healers are actually going to switch to the Pekka, heal her back up. And the bowlers are doing some nice work behind Pekka. I'm gonna come in with the Hawks now every moment here at this side of the base. I'm gonna have the heal spell ready there for the Tesla farm right away. As you guys are gonna see, there he goes with a nice and spammy Hawk deployment. And heal spell, as I said, down right away to get those Teslas out of the way. That really the last threat inside this base. Um, Everything else not putting out enough damage to stop his hawk attack. And now take a look, guys. The Pekka is tanking over here. That's what I meant by Pekka got some nice value this raid. Um, Pekka is going to tank both those cannons. Um, Hawks are going to have a free shot at that wizard tower. And also the bowlers can take uh, some trash buildings out there. Um, his top group of hogs sort of petered out, but with the Pekka distracting both those cannons, his 4-5 uh, hoggies here at the bottom have no problem taking out these two cannons. And that's all the defenses, that's all she wrote for this base. Uh, so yeah, very nice job here by Steff. Of course, uh, Pekka cannot always be controlled. It can be a little bit random, but in this case, it worked out nicely into Pekka. Um, definitely helped out three-starring this base. Um, next Town Hall 9 attack is going to be on number 18, and that's going to be um, Suari coming in here for this one with the logo bowl attack. Guys, take a look. Nice path line here straight towards the middle of the space. So... Um, He's going to utilize that. You, of course, need to funnel these two compartments here in order to get your wall breakers to break this wall. But that's what he's going to do. I'm going to be moving in with three golems here like we usually see in the logo bowl attack. And the wizards are going to do some nice work um, on those surrounding buildings there. Has six wizards down and five more in the back still. There goes another wizard. There goes another wizard. And he's going to take out those defenses here. No problem. Um... Yeah, Wizzy's doing work, clearing out these compartments here nice and easy. Um, the wizard's now sort of stepping into the rage of the wizard tower, so he's just going to use his queen. Um, the golems should move towards the, the uh, core once that uh, compartment is cleared, and they are actually all going to do so. Clan Kessler's out, he moves in with the war breakers, spammy deployment. The golems uh, have triggered any eventual bombs that could be in that location there. Poison spell is down, baby dragon focus on the golem, that's a good thing. And then he's gonna be moving in with the rage spell. Uses a couple balloons already, gets that first second air defense down very quickly. Um, takes out those Teslas there, even has a haste spell, so only one poison spell. Decides to use a haste spell for his other small spell. And he's gonna have some more loons for this uh, bottom side here. Um, deploys a few more just to be safe. Has plenty of balloons to get this base um, down. And um, yeah, very cool logo ball attack. Even uses the heal spell and those last balloons. Um, pretty much could have swagged that heal spell. But um, yeah, nice job to Tsuari here on base number 18. Taking it down with a bunch of troops left. Overkill smashing this base here. That's moving us on up uh, one number only actually. To number 17 where we have uh, Max coming in. With very nice um, entry here, and take a look at that entry, guys. Um, tried to funnel with minions, but there was a Tesla there, so I uh, just dropped a balloon on the Tesla. Very easy kill. A um, little bit of a strange Tesla location, gotta be honest. Uh, 
maybe, yeah, well, whatever. Mo um, the wizard here is going to 1v1 the mortar. Had he placed the wizard closer to the mortar, then the wizard actually wouldn't have taken any shots. But I guess that's going to be okay. The wizzy did his job down there. Um, now it's all about moving the queen towards the core. Queen is going to do some nice funneling work here with these um, storages. Couple more balloons being sent into the wizard tower, taking it out, also partially luring the clan castle. Baby dragon has a free shot at those dark elixir drills afterwards. They're going to take those out, no problem whatsoever. Also the baby dragon is going to kill the wizard and now a nice path has been set. Although I don't like where the queen is standing, she's uh, definitely always threatening to target uh, buildings towards the outside. He tries to uh, uh, combat that with a wizard there to funnel her, but it's a little bit too late. Queen is banging her way through a wall and um, she's gonna be not going to the core. Um, has a rage pile down in the core now, has a couple loons coming in. This sort of a, a mix between Logo Bowl and Stone Hobo here um, has some loons, some hawks back end, and he's gonna be able to react to um, the defenses nicely. Those two golems here taking everything away in the core are pretty good. And the queen has now actually decided to join the party inside the middle. Finally, 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 she still has her ability. I guess that's one good thing about being stuck on a wall. And yeah, um, in the end, he's gonna have no trouble taking this base down. Queen behind those golems could have survived a little bit longer had he popped the ability. So it's all good. Nice job to Max here taking down number 17. One of the newer Town Hall 9s inside the clan. Um, and uh, yeah, absolutely doing work as well. And the last Town Hall 9 attack for today, guys, is going to be on number 15. That's going to be um, Levin coming in. This is, of course, Marvin, aka Nati, who also has an account in DLZ. So shout out to him. Um, nice performances as well lately. And um, over here, he's going to do it with a Queen Walk La Lune attack. So pretty sweet one. Lures the clan castle uh, baby dragon out there with um, a minion and then he's gonna have a poison spell down uh, sort of missing the witch with the poison spell that can sometimes bite you in the butt but the witch is gonna be so nice here and step up all the way into the poison um, and get taken out of course so um, not the ideal poison placement but it was able to work the late valkyrie coming out is not gonna pose any threat to the queen because she is inside a rage spell Uses a couple loons and a haste spell for this bomb tower. Um, get that out of the way. Probably wouldn't even needed the haste spell there because enemy queen was targeting something else. But he decided rather to be safe than sorry and uh, took that out no problem there. Queen now walking the right way of course. Um, she's gonna be jumping in here pretty soon. King is uh, clearing the other side. Some trash buildings uh, and also setting up the funnel of course. Um, Jump spell is now soon gonna be used um, once she gets closer there. King still doing work on those trash buildings. Uh, the wizard behind is gonna attempt to grab that air defense, but that's not quite gonna work out uh, just because of the cannon. So a little bit better timing there could have gotten him the air defense, but he's gonna improvise nicely. Just watch it, guys. Um, the air defense is gonna target his healer soon. And once the air defense does that, he's gonna come in with a couple loons, take out the air defense. So there we go. Just waited for the air defense to target healers. He's gonna lose one healer, but it's all good. He's gonna get that air defense out of the way there. No problem. So nice improvisation. And the rest of this attack is gonna be really cool. Queen getting some more nice value inside the core. And soon he's gonna start off with the loon at the laloon pathing now looking very good for this base. Um, you guys are going to see this attack uh, is going to look very cool soon here. Um, Queen uh, sort of in trouble now over there. I don't remember if he raged her again or not. No, I guess he didn't because... Oh yeah, okay, he did. <laughs> uh, rip my commentary. Um, has the first haste spell down. Is going to use the second one uh, pretty soon as well here for the Teslas. And take a look, guys. Uh, not much, much left standing. And also defenses focused towards the middle of the base where the Queen and Lava Hounds are. And um, not really on the balloons. So um, great job. Very nicely looking, a nice looking attack here by Levin, aka, aka Marvin. And even had the level 4 Lava Hound from the Clan Castle survive. His queen died very late, so she was not there for the victory celebration for this attack. But it's all good. Enough loons and lava pups and minions left to do the job. That's gonna move us to our first 10v10, which came on number 14. And once again, Johnny J able to grab this one. So shout out to him, um, great performances. These last couple of wars gets down this uh, mortar here with the trick of um, having the air defense and archer tower focus on a minion for a bit and then sending the loon in behind. 
and then he's, he's gonna suicide his heroes here to um, of course get an inferno tower and also an air defense out of the way as well as a wizzy tower and another archer tower clan castle is far enough away so that the suicide is gonna work no problem whatsoever king is just gonna have his way with a couple of trash buildings over here it's gonna be tanking for queen nicely there goes the Inferno Tower, there goes the Archer Tower, and then he uses the Queen ability and even gets another Wizzy Tower and another Tesla, guys. That's uh, some awesome value for the Queen. Only problem is she's soon going to log on to the Lava Hound now, so um, the King should better die uh, or lure the Lava Hound away. That's, of course, going to work as well. Queen is dead, he's relaxed, it's all good, and he's going to start in with La Lune now every moment... Uh, where is the Laloon? There we go. There's the first Lava Hound. There's the second Lava Hound. There are a couple of... Ooh, quite a few balloons early, actually. Um, but he, he has quite a few as well. I think he had 29 balloons. Uh, that's quite a big amount of balloons. So um, no worries at all. Skelly sk spell kill for the Queen. Queen staying in that compartment nicely. She's going to get taken out. Has the heal spell down. Very interesting balloon deployment by him here. Um, uh, always sort of sprinkling the balloons, although he's sort of dropping them in the same place. Um, definitely funny to watch. And a nice free spell is going to negotiate that Inferno Tower over there. Overall, of course, the defense is for this base um, lower level than we see uh, on some of the other Channel 10 villages. But... Um, yeah, able to do things, no problem. Uh, sort of suicided a few minions over here to distract the air defense. Could have used those on cleanup, but uh, he had enough time to take it out. So um, the poison spell in the back as well. That's going to be it for base number 14. Nice job to Johnny J. Town Hall, one of the last buildings to fall. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. We had another 10v10, and that actually came on number 9. Uh, where's number 9? Over here. I'll be right back, guys. I'm muted for a second. And if you are watching my uh, war recap videos regularly, you're probably s saying, well, I know this base, I know this attack. And uh, of course you're right, because <laughs> this is a base that uh, recently got taken out by uh, us at uh, DLZ with uh, this same attack. I think that was... Uh, Either Niklas or Haris taking out this base. And uh, yeah, we had the video, of course, so um, knew how to smash this base. Took a couple attempts, still wasn't uh, the easiest um, to execute. But um, yeah, Rage Bowlers behind the king, able to grab nice value here on the back end of this base. Also, the queen uh, is doing work. Uh, king is going to die to enemy king. Bowlers are also going to get ripped. But the queen, of course, still full health with her ability, is going to be able to grab this last wizard tower, or second to last wizard tower, and that uh, archer tower behind the corner there as well. Uh, because that's actually going to be the nearest building. You guys can see the queen already targeted the archer tower before she went around the corner. And then she's going to die afterwards. And... Um, Two air defenses have already been cleared, so a nice path for this uh, one and lonely Lava Hound here. Spare me loon deployment, uh, but uh, that's what you're going to need for this base. Um, has one loon left in the back. Probably could have saved a couple more for those two Archer Towers here, but uh, it worked out this way as well. So um, it's all good. Freeze, but could have come a little bit earlier, probably before the uh, Rage Bell, but um, the Freeze Bell then was able to freeze the enemy queen, so she got taken out by the Skellies, no problem whatsoever. Last Wizard Tower standing, posing quite a threat, all of those loons, low health, but just able to take it out. And um, yeah, that wrapped it up for the second time we turn, so nice to be able to capitalize on the video for this one, and um, yeah, able to take this one down. With the spammy loon attack, that's moving us on up to attacks on tunnel 11. Of course, we are going to have 11 versus 11, but first, let's watch a 10 versus 11 because that one was actually pretty good as well. Um, this one right here, um, where we have Junior coming in, um, and he's going to do a nice queen walk for this base. Starts things off with a haste spell and of course balloons. Takes out the Tesla, takes out the cannon there. And that's going to set up the path for his queen. Already has the clan castle sort of lured out. Uh, parts of it at least. Looks like we've got a bunch of archers, a witch, a couple of whizzies. And that's probably going to have one witch remaining in a clan castle would be my educated guess. Um, we're going to find out at some point. Has the poison spell down, uh, of course. 
yeah, important uh, for the witch not to mess up his uh, queen walk. Luckily, she targets that. Knew about the black bomb right there, so able to trigger the black bomb with only one balloon wasted. That's a good thing. And um, yeah, then the queen is going to have her path created towards the 9 o'clock corner. Let's go to times 2 speed, guys. You all know how a queen walk uh, works. Uh, it, it usually takes up quite a bit of time. Um, not too interesting here because he only used the rage spell to speed her along uh, for the damage. Did not have um, much damage on his queen, so didn't need it to heal her back up. Queen is doing work, taking out all these buildings over here. Now he needs the rage spell for damage purposes, so um, two rage spells being used for queen, and actually also the queen ability. He knew there was a Tesla going to pop, so uh, more damage coming in, so needed the ability. And um, she's now rounding the corner. Has already tried a uh, baby dragon over here that didn't quite work out. We've got a bowler working now, helping out with the trash buildings, speeding along the time a little bit. Pops a golem right on top of that Tesla there. Three Valkyries setting up the funnel on the other half of the base. He figured that was the cheapest and best way to do it. Jump spell right into this compartment, allowing access to the town hall. All the bowlers now stepping in. No heal spell. There is a giant bomb going off, so uh, that luckily went off nice and early. Baby Dragon still remained in the clan castle, so it's going to do some work. The giant bomb catches quite a few bowlers. The bowlers are sort of going to peter out, but uh, they are going to have the queen survive, and that's going to be all he needs. Uh, Town Hall already severely damaged by the bowlers, already at 50%. Has another Baby Dragon down there, and that's GG for this base. Nice job to Junior. Um, getting it done 10v11 style here on this one queen is gonna die soon uh, gonna not get the clan castle so 55 percent nicely done and then uh, guys the 11 versus 11 by um yours truly actually so um i spotted that this base um would be vulnerable to an 11 vs 11 attack. Uh, knew about the Teslas and black bombs here on the outside. Couple black bombs triggered right away. Of course helped out. Teslas taken out of the way for pathing. And then a nice and spammy La Luna attack, guys. Two Lava Hounds at the top um, and one Lava Hound at the bottom where I sent in the Warden. Um, I decided to use three Haste spells early and two Rage spells after. Um, there go the two Rage spells. I'm, of course, also going to utilize those for the um, Skelly kill on the Queen. Able to freeze the Inferno Tower there as well as an Expo just to negotiate some uh, damage from the base. And um, <clears throat> yeah, this one looked wrecked pretty early. I had a couple haste spells after those rage spells just to make my troops go to the Wizard Towers a bit earlier. Throwing down the heroes back end just to tank a little bit. Actually, could have been a little bit earlier on those, but um, my balloons were able to overpower. Still had a Lava Hound left there as well. And I was actually. <laughs> able to swag my queen ability for this 11 versus 11 triple so felt pretty good to get that one out of the way that happened um, half late in war i'm gonna say um, all three heroes surviving so quite a commanding kill here and it actually gave us the advantage on percentage points so um had we been perfect on dips, we would have won the war, but unfortunately we had a dip fail very late. And so, uh, yeah, this attack was, I, w I don't want to say rendered worthless, but um, it did not pay off to get the 11 versus 11 triple here because we lost by a star, um, had the percentages, um, but um, yeah, pretty tough to lose by one star and then fail, um, lose the war. Um, of course, we only went 11 versus 11 once, so one out of one for that. They did not go 11 versus 11. For dips, we went 6 out of 7. They went 7 out of 8. So had we been perfect for dips, we would have um, yeah, would have won it. But still a solid performance to the 11s this war. 10v10, we had two 10v10s as you guys saw. They had two 10v10s and then actually um, a 9 versus 10 here, guys. Check that out. A Town Hall 9 coming in. And somebody uh, forgot to switch the base and... Yeah, that also hurt us. They fresh wrecked the space with the Town Hall 9. And that, of course, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say three 10v10s for them. Although one of those was, of course, a 9v10. And for the 10 vs 11 performance, we used 10 hits for the four bases. That includes the 11 vs 11. They used um, 11 attacks for our four bases. So that's your wall right there. Uh, GG to Invictus Prime. A heartbreaker for us because we had the percentages, had the last dip been perfect. And um, yeah, tough loss, but uh, definitely the f uh, first uh, solid performance by the team again. And we are looking forward to next week. If we keep playing like this, we're definitely going to win again. And um, yeah, so not all bad. A heartbreaking loss, but um, still very nice uh, to be inside the clan uh, at the end of the war. 
some nice hype and um, yeah almost would have gotten it against the Victus Prime not quite able to work out um, that's gonna do it for this war recap video guys I hope you enjoyed it and until the next one I will see you all later peace out